Get ready for a game of political chess when Governor Brian Kemp stops taking applications for Senator Johnny Isaacson's soon to be vacated seat. So the deadline is coming up Monday. And the backstage drama is going to be uh, begin in earnest for both Republicans and Democrats ahead of the special election. And for that, we look forward to the opportunity to see which direction it will indeed go. Democrats view it as a way to increase their chances of winning another big race as well. And some say the diversity of the candidate could play a role in that. 11 Live's Doug Richards explains. Last year, with Stacey Abrams running for governor, Democrats came closer than they had come in 12 years to winning a statewide race in Georgia. Democrats think black voters were the key to that race and need to be key to next year's election as well. Next year's election will be huge for both parties. Georgia voters will decide if they still support President Donald Trump. They'll decide on the re-election of Senator David Perdue and a replacement for Senator Johnny Isaacson, who is resigning next month. At least four Democrats are challenging Purdue. Filmmaker John Ossoff, former Columbus Mayor Teresa Tomlinson, Clarkston Mayor Ted Terry, and businesswoman Sarah Riggs Amico. All are of the Caucasian persuasion. You know, I think that it is time for us to put up a candidate. Erica Thomas is among the many Democrats who think their candidate in the Isaacson race should be of the African-American yeah. persuasion. Even though we might have, you know, come a little bit short of making history in 2018, I think in 2020 we want to make history as well. And Governor Brian Kemp will likely name a Republican by the end of next month to replace Isaacson. Which Democrat could get the nod in the special election? Stacey Abrams took herself out of the running. Many Democrats would like to see Raphael Warnock jump in. As pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church, Warnock is a dynamic speaker who has led on liberal causes. Some are hoping Sherry Boston runs. She's the district attorney of DeKalb County who won her seat by unseating an incumbent. Michael Thurmond is considering it. He's the CEO of DeKalb County. He was also one of two officials who were the last Democrats to win statewide races in 2006, when Thurmond was elected labor commissioner. Thomas says the right Democrat running for Isaacson's seat could have coattails, driving up the turnout of black voters, helping the Democrats in the Senate race against Purdue and the presidential race against Mr. Trump. The trick for Democrats will be to come up with just one candidate who would likely win the endorsement and money from the National Democratic Party. How will the National Party decide? A former gubernatorial candidate named Stacey Abrams may have some say in that, Jeff. All right, Doug, thank you. We have confirmed.